I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20, and I'm going to show you how to use Samsung DeX on a Insignia Fire TV using just one cable here, all right? So first thing is, let me just show you the cable that you need. So here's the cable here. This is a 4K 60 FPS. I'll put a link below where you can get this, but it's basically an HDMI to a USB Type-C. So the HDMI plug behind a TV and the USB-C just plug into the uh, Note 20. So let me go ahead and plug the HDMI part into the back of my TV first. Now once I do that, it's plugged behind my TV. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my phone. Now if it was on a correct HDMI port, it should show up right away. However, it's not, so it's probably because I'm on the wrong HDMI port. So just go ahead and uh, click on your home button. We need to go to the correct HDMI input, okay? Home button, just go all the way over until you see settings. Then go down one, and you see inputs here. Let's go ahead and press on enter. And it's probably HDMI 1. Let's go ahead and click on HDMI 1. And let's see what happens here. Voila. So you can see we got Samsung DeX, basically a desktop on your, uh, your Insignia TV here. So you see the mouse like in the middle. Now what you can do from here is grab your phone here and then go ahead and swipe from the top. Just swipe down and then you'll see this over here. It says, uh, use your phone as a touchpad. Okay, so we tap on that. Now here's our mouse pad, okay? And you can see the mouse on the TV. You can see, we can move that around. You can also, of course, use the S Pen as the mouse, okay? So once this is on, you can see my screen. It's basically a desktop here. You can go ahead and uh, open up your gallery, whatever you want. Let me just show you a quick picture here and a quick video. So for example, so here's a, photo here and you can of course same thing as like a windows desktop you can maximize it you can go to the next one next photo here and let me show you a uh, quick video here let me just double click on this okay now take note by by default the sound and everything is going to come from your phone Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's coming from the phone. If you wanted to go come from out from the TV, then what you can do is you can just go ahead and go back, just slide down the notifications, and you see over here it says audio output, okay, under smart things. Let me focus in on there. So if you tap on that, now you can see that it's toggled on my phone, but up here is my or display device. So if I pop on that, now the audio is gonna come out from the actual TV. So let me go ahead and bring up my mouse pad on my Note 20 here. And let's play that video again. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So now the audio is coming out from the TV. And let me just go ahead and get out of this. Oops. So everything on your phone is basically going to be on the monitor here as like in a desktop. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, you got all your other functions here that you have like on your phone. We got volume here. Uh, you have, you know, you can open up your settings, uh, other apps, work documents. You have your recents uh, menu right here. Your additional apps, bottom left hand side down there. And you can see right there. Also, I want to note that if, if you need to scroll, like for example, if you're at like a browser or uh, like for example, let me just open up this browser right here. And if you're looking at like a web page and you want to scroll down or whatnot, you know, uh, rather than using this uh, the sidebar, you can go ahead and move that up and down. You can just use two fingers and you can go ahead and, oh, let me click on there. So you can use two fingers to scroll up and down. Okay, so I think you got the gist of it. Pretty simple. And basically, if you want to disconnect, I have a link below where I got this on Amazon. If you want to disconnect, you just pull the plug. All right, pretty simple.